All right, so welcome back to the St. Elizabeth Technical Sports Complex as we get the second stanza, the second 45 on the way. It's 0-0, Holland Village in their red and gold versus the full red of the Goshen FC team. It's the St. Elizabeth Major League Final 2024 and the Goshen FC team, they are down to 10 players. And uh, Keno Brown is picking up a 28 minute red card. Now, here is a Palmer. Palmer plays that one inside. And now the whistle comes, a free kick. Goshen FC. So, referee Davy. So, it's a Holland Village free kick. And he thought it was a Goshen free kick. So it's a Holland Village free kick. Here is a Wilson on to Ferguson. Holland Village left fullback player, number five. He's on a yellow card, so you have to be careful also. And uh, so here we go. And, uh, 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 it's not a, a bad evening. And just let me say good evening to you on a Sports Note, Goal Buster Sports Note on YouTube, on TikTok, and uh, uh, on Facebook, Instagram. Here's a Smith. Plays that one through. Now the flag is up on a number 10 player, Enevo. So, uh, uh, the Goshen FC team, they, they have to double up in their, in their pursuit. They're down a player. But, uh, uh, we have to uh, get some individual brilliance through this game. Second half action. Let me thank you again for making it to goal Buster Sports Note. Referee Darren Davy inside the middle of the park. First assistant. All right. right. Easy now, easy. Hey, 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 Showing some leniency on the number 11 player. So here we go. Taking shot on to Stevens. And now the flag is up on number 13, Nicardo Sinek. So 0 0 is the scoreline. Number 11, David Powell, with that challenge. He's on a yellow card. So you have to be careful. And uh, you don't want to, to uh, uh, weigh down your team any further than they are. 0-0, zero, zero. Goshen FC in the red, full red. Miller taking a shot onto Rohan Palmer. And the Goshen FC team, they're, they're, not, they're not slowing up the game, they're, they're playing fast. Here we go. Here is a McCoy Simic wide on to Ferguson. So the, the Holland Village team, though, they, they have the advantage of an uh, extra player. And uh, uh, he's playing the ball around. As uh, I never know that he was in an outside position and uh, did not take the pursuit of, of, of chasing. So, as the lights are on here at the Center of the Technical Sports Complex. So we're on the 50th minute mark. Nabil Allen. Right to Ricardo Smith. And attack uh, there from, from Rohan Palmer. He sees a yellow card for the number eight player. So from the inception of this game, the the Holland Village team, they, they had a, a, a number of, 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 of set plays. And uh, yeah, 
Gregory Robles and fierce game. Headed away from Duncan. Well, on to Miller. Couldn't control. A little bit behind the number 12 player. There's Williams. Miller. Headed down. Ball through. And now the flag is up on the number 10 player. And never. He's not watching his line as a there's a Andre and never and uh, tense in this second standard giving away possession on to Ajay Simit who decides to dribble on his right boot here's the number 18 player and a good defending from uh, Giovanni Brown and covering for his uh, left fullback player in uh, Warner Garden. So Nicardo Simic who use both feet. At the near post. And the goalkeeper comfortable in his uh, the catching. His, uh, Allen. Bows up one immediately out on the two. Uh, and he couldn't get it on to Palmer. And, uh, a quick outfield due to the the uh, rain and, uh, and then Ronald Miller number 12 player the lone striker for the Goshen FC team he has been doing a wonderful job and there's a Powell Stevens there's Powell looking for passes number 11 player he has space for the first time and uh, slide that one through but as far as to Watson Oh, here we go. Power. And coach Allison shouts to the number 11 player, let's play some football. Play that one across! Oh, and number seven, Duncan. Jiver through. Just ricocheted off his uh, inside of his right boot. And went wide. Goal kick. So the Holland Village team got a little bit of a Scared there from the number seven player. There's a, there's a Wilson. Oh, good tackle there from a little man in number 17, Williams. Was it now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go, go. Hey, come, players, come. All right, so substitution for the Holland Village team, a double substitution. Oh, that's a nice move there. He's still going. He's still going like Duracell. And the flag has been raised. So the ball. It's a free kick. Waiting on the decision from the second assistant. And the referee, Davey, I'm sure will have a, a word with his second assistant to nullify this. decision so uh, we're waiting on the verdict so it's a free kick here for the Goshen FC team they're just on the edge of the 18 and uh, on that right hand side so let's see if the Goshen FC team can make use of their set play. 0-0 is the scoreline. You're watching the St. Elizabeth Major League final. We're here at the, the St. Elizabeth Technical Sports Complex. As uh, Sheldon Green, number 11, is in. And uh, number 9, Navid Allen, is out. And uh, Nicole Simic is also out. Number 4 and number 2, Jevon Ambersley is in. Here we go. Over the wall. Oh, and uh, no one in red could get on the end of it. And uh, the body check there, and uh, nothing wrong, says the referee. There's a, there's a Palmer wide onto Fullwood. Was he brought down? No whistle there. There is a Williams. And uh, now the whistle comes 
free kick Goshen FC. So a moment of brilliance. That's all it takes to get a goal. Number seven, Duncan and the Palmer. And it, it took a deflection off his own player. Goal kick. All right, so Mikado Simic playing on the right side of the fence. Over the top, looking for a green. Wilson. And a, a step in there. And a yellow card coming out here for number 17. That's Wilson. So, uh, 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 60th minute yellow card for the number 17 player. All right, so here we go. And uh, uh, Garden. Teasing cross. Headed away from Barnes. Far to Wilson. And, uh, Drop the ball, but there's Ajay Simet. Chance for a counter attack. There's a Ajay Simet and a second one, and a second warning for the number 11 player. So, referee Darren Davy just keeping a calm, and this I'm sure is the final warning for number 11 David Powell. All right, so Okar Barnes, number three, who steps up. So uh, four players lurking around the, the 18 yards. And uh, uh, Ajay Simit is there. Also, uh, uh, Stevens, teasing ball. The goalkeeper comes and uh, collects. And bowls that one immediately out onto Palmer. Palmer. Tajay Palmer. Back to his goalkeeper. And back to Palmer. Williams. Now they lost possession. Nice turn. Wilson. And uh, there was a foul. There's a Delanjo Stevens. Free kick, Holland Villa. All right, here we go. Uh, ball wide on to Simic. Ball to Simic, force wide. Slides on the way, ball away. As far as the Miller, Miller, a little bit too far on to Watson. Returns is uh, Wilson, Delanjo Stevens inside to the substitute and a free kick coming up here for the Holland Village team. Taken short, Ajay Simic, Holland Village in possession. I want to thank you again for making it a goal at Buster Sports Note as we bring to you the St. Elizabeth Major League Final 2024. Ball away. And uh, so referee Davey, he saw something. It seems as if he would follow through from number seven, Duncan. Free kick. Holland Village. So, a uh, lot of tension growing. And the uh, Holland Village team there, they have an extra player as the Goshen FC team. They're down to 10 players. But uh, yeah, the score is 0-0. Uh, zero, zero. 64 minutes play. Free kick, Holland Village. Midway, the Goshen FC team have a little bit too hard there, and Wilson, I'm sure, goal kick. Here we go, 0-0 zero, zero is the scoreline. 65 minutes of action play. And the referee had the whistle through his mouth, and they take it away. Here's Ambersley, lost possession. Garden. Miller who turns give that player a chance to run at you we have pace and we also have quality lost possession Wilson on the two uh, and ever and the goalkeeper comes can he get the one across 
Cornel! And it's a substitute player in the number two, Javon Ambersley. Easy top in. From some brilliant work from Wilson to make it 1 0 here. 67 minutes on the clock. And the Holland Village team has taken the lead here at the St. Elizabeth Technical Sports Complex. St. Elizabeth Major League Final 2024. 1-0. Alright, so the Goshen FC team, they, they have to come up. They have to open up now. They have to press. They have to go forward. And uh, in doing so, Coach Ellison with a double substitution. All right, so here we go, a double substitution for the Goshen FC team. They have to press now. And Rabino Barrett is in, number 15. And uh, Tajay Palmer, number 14, is out. And Jordan Denton, number 19, is in. And uh, David Powell is out. 1-0 is the scoreline. Holland Village in the lead. And uh, the goalkeeper get this one, yes. And uh, the goalkeeper good with three big saves in the first half. There's a slip. And uh, Green who couldn't get it off over the top and never was in the clear. Williams who pursued now here is a goal scorer in Ambersley and he slides on his way as a, a Goshen FC team they come again to a Brown there's a Barrett wide on to Palmer to Barrett Barrett to over Jimmels. Simit, Ricardo Simit, on to Wilson. Wilson back to Simit. Oh, that's a beautiful ball. Here, Simit, he can make it too. Oh, save from goalkeeper Allen. As a, will that be the save that will make the change? Here is Ferguson. Nice one, too. Ferguson, can he get it right? And uh, took it, a block there from Duncan. Corner kick coming up here for the Holland Village team. 1 0 is the scoreline. So we're on the 70th minute mark. And 1-0 uh, uh, remains at the scoreline as the Holland Village team day come again. Wilson, corner kick. It's a scorching corner at the back post. And uh, uh, couldn't get it back across. And uh, uh, the number two player in Ambersley who, who had that 67th minute strike who, who uh, uh, made the difference here in this final. Yeah. So here we go. And the Goshen team, they, they come to Rohan Palmer, Miller. So will it be a late twist? Will the Holland Village team be victorious here at the St. Elizabeth Technical Sports Complex? Free kick, Holland Village. Long ball for Eneva. He have pace. And a good defending there from Brown. Giving away possession. You don't want to see that 
as a Goshen player. Now here's Wilson. Wilson! Oh, and a wide off target. And the goalkeeper had a touch to it. It's a corner kick coming up here. But all that need is a better direction. Got to be more precise. You have time. All right, so Nicardo Simit at the front post. Oh, and that one is gone away. And uh, one nil remains the scoreline. So as long as it stays at one nil, there is a hope for the Goshen SC team. You have to kill the game off with more goals. Substitution coming in. All right, so double substitution again from Coach Ellison. As a, he, he wants to get back into this one. Here's Miller, who dribbles. No whistle. He's a, Green giving away possession. Yeah. So uh, the job on a boom field number 10 is in. Eric Ferguson, number 13, is in. And uh, uh, Jamie Williams, number 17, is out. And uh, number four. Randy Fullwood is off, so uh, yeah. it's all attacking, all attacking now for the Goshen FC team with quarter of an hour to go. All right, will it be a late twist? Will it be a late twist, or will the Holland Village team? Lay Will they kill the game off? A, a 13 minutes of normal time to play. And uh, offside flag has been raised. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Barnes who, who shouts from early. And it's always tough for the chase. Here we go. Holland Village defended. Carbons. There's a round lining up for a shot. He's looking for another. Oh, and uh, never uh, try to get. As a, giving away possession now on to Stevens who plays that one forward. Block in his path. As a Rohan Palmer plays wide on to Ferguson. Tug in the back, free kick. Played forward for number 10 player. A good defending there from Ricardo Simit. As a Broomfield almost got through. Nice turn there from Palmer. There's a Palmer who jibbles inside. Oh, and a, a wayward shot. One nil remains the scoreline. Here we go. One nil remains the scoreline. Yeah. The Goshen FC team, they have 10 minutes of normal time. Plus what referee Davy have to add. So in Holland Village. Yeah. So uh, Denton. All the way across onto Palmer. Yeah. Wilson. Steven. Ricardo. Simit who moves, giving space onto Ajay Simit. He needs to attack the goal, plays inside. Here's a goal scorer, straight to goalkeeper Allen. Ambersley giving away possession. A shot, and that one is over the top. So, uh, nine minutes of 
normal time to play. Giving away possession. Here's Green. Sheldon Green on to the goal scoring Ambersley. There's a Palmer. Back to Ambersley. Clean attacker. And the, and the tackle there from Duncan. Catches all ball. As they come again through Fawkerson. Nice turn. And a little bit too hard there. You have to weigh your pass in Barrett. Rabino Barrett. There's a long floating ball. Benton with a tackle there. Baca, RJ, here's a and never, and never. He have two players inside. And never a player that want to crawl. Oh, and too close to goalkeeper Allen. He's having a wonderful game. Is a Goshen FC cross Todian. Ball over the top. And uh, uh, stopping his shots from Watson. Ferguson. Holland Village in possession. Also in the lead. And uh, headed away. And uh, here comes the tackle there from Sheldon Green. Free kick. Goshen FC. Taken quickly. On to uh, Ferguson. Now a Denton. Ferguson. Over the top. Looking for Greenfield. Throw in. Attacking on that right hand side. Greenfield with the throw. Goal kick in the result. In the motion. FC team, they need to come up with the goods and they need to do it quick. Seven minutes of normal time to play. There's a card also. Green giving away possession. Inside on to Barrett. Barrett. And, uh, trying to turn away, but Wilson has won a possession. There's a Ferguson. And climbing the back of the number 13 player. Giving away possession. On to Ambersley. Wide for Green. Inside. Oh, and that pass a little bit too far. Has done well is Ajay Simit to stop that from going out for way throwing. Where's Green? Nice one to play at the back post. Oh, his first touch, he loses him. And a shot from Dylan Joe Stevens. He's trying to spectacular, but all he had to do is do the basic and get that ball in the back of the net. One that remains the scoreline. Ball inside. Broomfield. Ajay Smith. Stevens. Five. Minutes of normal time to play. The goalkeeper hesitated. And now he comes. Goes that one immediately out. Goshen FC. Who will come up with the goods for the team in their red outfit? Here we go. And now Ajay Smith with possession. On to Ricardo Smith. Stevens. Nice one to move. Nice one to play. Play that one across. All side position. All side flag is up. So, Enever. That's uh, uh, about 10 times he, he, the number 10 player got caught in the offside position. Here is Miller with a little space. Play that one through. And uh, Watson is there to avert the danger. Throw in a coming up here for the 
Goshen FC team. Midway, the Holland Village team half. Taken short. Inside. Oh, and he could not get that one to the number 10 player was Barrett. In fact, that was... Here we go. Green. And now the Holland Village team there using up the, the ball really well. Played wide. On to Smith. Nicardo Smith. Okar Barnes. Stalwart defender. Ball through. Ajay Simic. With space. With time. Still triples. Oh, and he tries to go through two players. He had the option. There's Watson. And a played wide. Now here's a chance. Now this is a, a first time they have a, a chance to uh, get a break. Play the one across. Oh, and a good defending there. And a Ferguson. Left fullback player They're coming over to avert that danger. All right. Will it be a late twist? Can the Goshen team of forces into extra time? Corner kick. At the back post. And a little bit too hard, too long. Goal kick. So two minutes of normal time to play. And, uh, Here we go. Ajay Smith. Coaching FC team. They have a minute. Just over a minute of normal time. Oh, that's a nice ball. The flag. Now the flag is up. All right, so here we go. So, yeah. so, referee Darren Davy has indicated four minutes of additional time. Goshen SC team, they have four minutes to uh, force this game into extra time. Ten players of Goshen FC down. And a, and a brilliant defending there from Ferguson. There's a nice touch inside. And a, there's a Miller. Plays wide. Ball across. Here's a header. And a straight into the arms of Garden. And Garden. Who uh, immediately plays that one forward. And Ambersley is there. But good defending there from Garden. As uh, Ferguson. Goshen FC. Okar Barnes away. As far as to Ajay Simic. Who turns back. Green. Long floating ball. And the garden is there. Also Palmer. Duncan that is. There's a Duncan. Inside on to Barrett. Away from one. Here's Barrett. He has Duncan to his left. Oh, and a play that one a little bit too close to Watson. And Green kind of take the Holland Village team through. Two minutes of normal time played. Of extra time, that is. 
So uh, Goshen FC team, they have two minutes to force this game into extra time. You're watching the St. Elizabeth Major League Final. 1-0 is the scoreline. Inside on to Stevens. There's a Wilson who drives th through. Stevens on to Wilson. Can they kill the game off here? Still in possession. No, here's a shot. It blocked. And uh, Ajay Simic across. And uh, the goalkeeper made a save. Now, uh, here is the last twist of the game. No whistle, now the whistle comes. Free kick, Holland Village. And this seems to be a Holland Village triumph. As a substitution, coming in, number eight is getting in. So, giving away possession. Here is a Broomfield inside, cleared away. Holland Village looks as if Holland Village will be the 2024. St. Elizabeth Major League Champions. We have played the four minutes of additional time. Final attack. As a goalkeeper comes and a throw in. So, uh, the final attack for the Goshen FC team. They must get it from this attack. Another throw in. They need to go all out now. Duncan. With space and time is Ferguson. Ball floated inside. Headed away from Okar Barnes. And... Uh, Ball played inside. Can they kill the game off here? Oh, that's a nice ball. Enever, he must score now. Here is Enever. Oh, and uh, a brilliant tackle there from Gordon. And the goalkeeper as referee, Darren Davy, took a look at his watch and he points to the sky. And there you have it Holland Village 2024 St. Elizabeth Major League Champions. They are 28 minutes striker from the substitute Jevon Ambersley to make a difference here for the team in their red and the gold. Congratulations is in order for the Holland Village team on becoming the 2024 St. Elizabeth Major League Champion. I want to thank you for making it a goal buster sports note as we bring uh, this final to you and I want to thank you for watching and thank you for making it goal buster sports note signing out I'm goal buster saying see you next time